okay uh, let us discuss this problem uh, this problem is related to interference and this method by which we are doing interference is called Lloyd's mirror experiment so this is basically experiment done by the Lloyd this is the name of person so this experiment is also done uh, called Lloyd's mirror experiment so what we are doing in this experiment just let us wait for one minute you draw the diagram and then we will discuss Okay, let us discuss. Now we have a source S1. This is a light source. There is a slit, and it's only one slit. In Young's double slit experiment, we have two slit. Now here we have only one slit, and there is a plane mirror. This is a plane mirror, and if I basically extend this horizontal line, so if I make a distance perpendicular distance from this slit to this horizontal line is d so this distance is given now there is a screen and this is the point if i extend this horizontal line here this cuts at point o this is called central point so this point is your central point uh, if there is a maximum generally we call it a central maximum uh, let us simply call this a central point this point is let us say central point now you see how the interference pattern will be observed in this case in this case interference pattern will be observed due to two light one that is coming directly so one is direct light another is reflected light so let us say if I consider any point P on the screen a direct light is coming so the upper light and a reflected light so this light comes here and then goes here so this light so there are two light this light reflected light and this light that is a direct light can get here and they can interfere basically electric field can interfere and interference of electric field will result in intensity so on a screen generally we look in terms of intensity and it is the electric field that interferes now the important point in this case is if I see for point O in Young's double slit experiment at point O you will get a maximum because in Young's double slit experiment so let me make sure something like this if you have this kind of thing at center the distance from both is equal so you will get path difference is 0 so delta x is 0 so you will have a maxima so wherever you have delta x is 0 that is called central maxima point so in this case you will at O so this is O point you will get central maximum but now in this case if you see at point O you can let us say any light any light this now we can think of this light this reflected light if I extend this this side and if I apply similar triangle this angle this angle is 90 degree this is common and this length is again so and this angle is 90 degree this is now also this angle is equals to this angle because at reflection you can always prove this angle is equals to this angle so this angle is equals to this angle now this is angle is this angle so now these two triangles are similar triangle you can prove this triangle and this triangle is similar triangle if I um, extend this line so now I can think in terms of path length I will think this path reaching here and from here this is the path at point P now point P is at O so let us say consider a point O this path length and this path length will be equal now only so now I can think of this light there is a light that is coming from this side at a distance uh, this uh, email source now this source is not a real source this source S2 is a virtual source now in terms of path length I can think 
any layer light ray coming at O and this this at O the path length will be equal now this distance is again D so for point O S1 O is equals to S2 O so we will consider this point will be maxima but now a case in this case it will not be maxima because due to reflection this light will also have phase change of pi so this light and this light will have a pi of phase change due to reflection so even at point O path length are equal but there is a phase that is pi that is change and so pi phase change that will create a minima at O because there is a pi in phase change so, so that is the lambda by 2 so pi phase change means lambda by 2 this means there is a minima at O so now if I have a minima here then I will get maxima then I will get minima so but in Young's double cell lit experiment you get here maxima and then minima this means maxima minima are basically interchange so in Lloyd's double slit experiment you are getting minima maxima minima maxima now let us say for any point P now if I do calculation for any point P in Lloyd's mirror experiment now this is same as so now if I say so let us say if I extend this one so this is my S1 and this is my virtual S2 now let us say if I consider any point P on a screen so this line this line this is the path this is another path now this line is d sin theta so if you remember this angle is theta this angle is again theta now this is d this is d so this is 2d now this length is 2d sin theta this can be proven and if angle theta is a small so i can say delta x is 2d sin theta this is same as 2d tan theta and now if this distance p is by so i can say this is same as 2d by by capital d if the this distance is d so this distance is capital is so 2d by by d now this will also have a phase change due to reflection so due to reflection pi phase change so what is the total phase change so for pi so if 2 pi is the phase path difference is lambda so 1 so you will have uh, 2 lambda by 2 pi so you have pi so lambda by 2 so for pi you will have lambda by 2 so for pi phase change path difference is lambda by so the total path difference in this case delta x plus pi by lambda by 2 so 2d plus pi by d plus lambda by 2 this is the total path difference is equals to for maxima i will have n lambda if total path difference is equals to n lambda i will have a maxima so if i solve this one i will have n minus half lambda and this into d so if i solve for y so this into d divided by 2d so this is my condition for maxima so d uh, this means now if i write so let me write in the same page if i write a uh, by if i write 2d is equal to simple as d dash so i can write by by, by is equals to d 2n minus half lambda and this divided by 2 d dash and I am writing 2d is simply as equals to d dash so 2d I am writing is equals to 2 dash so you see in this case what is the condition for maxima so for maxima if I have able to write let me write here or I can use the next page so if I use the new page I can write somewhere here 
so let us go this one i can write this by it same as d into 2 n minus 1 lambda by 2 d dash if you remember in case of young's double slit experiment for maxima we have n lambda but for in this case for maxima we have 2 n minus 1 lambda by 2 so you see this becomes multiple of lambda by 2 so odd multiple of lambda by 2 so this is 2 n minus 1 a odd number and lambda by 2 d dash is the distance between two sources that is the same as in the case of young's double slit experiment so you see in this case so for maxima we have condition that is odd multiple of lambda by 2 this means this is a condition in young's double slit experiment is same as minima so now i can say maxima has been interchanged by the minima in lloyd's mirror experiment so if you see in lloyd's mirror you can also find you find yourself what will be the condition for minima so this path difference i have to equate so for minima 2d by by d plus lambda by 2 this is equals to n plus half lambda so this is the condition for minima now lambda by 2 lambda by 2 cancels out so you will have 2d by by d is equals to n lambda if i solve for y it becomes n lambda d by 2d and if i write 2d is simple 2d is simple as d dash so n lambda d by d dash so it simply becomes multiple of lambda so n into lambda d by so n lambda but in that case you have the condition you have that is odd multiple of lambda by 2 so in this case this is the condition for maxima and here this is the condition for this is the condition for minima so you see the two condition has basically interchanged in young's double slit experiment and lloyd's mirror experiment condition has interchanged in lloyd's mirror the important point at center you will get minima that is and in young's double slit experiment you will get maxima if you see this is like let us say this is the pattern for so let us say this is maxima minima maxima minima so let us say this is okay this is this is minima this is maxima this is minima and then you have maxima so minima maxima minima this is maxima this is minima let us say this is the situation for your a uh, young double slit experiment so in the case of lloyd's mirror experiment you will get minima then maxima minima minima maxima so situation are interchange in this case you will have maxima and then you will have minima so this is your young's double slit experiment this is your lloyd's mirror experiment so you see in lloyd's mirror and young's double slit experiment the two things are interchanged so you must remember that in lloyd's mirror experiment you have to add a phase difference of phi and the second point the difference the distance between two slit becomes 2d if the distance of the line from a uh, horizontal line from mirror and the source s1 or the the actual source real source is given then you have to take the total distance is 2d you have to multiply by 2 this is also important we'll discuss the next problem